All right, we are on Nokomis Beach right now out here asking the beach people simple questions that you guys wanted us to ask them, and we're just going to see their reaction. Do you think farting in the bathtub is okay? No. No? no? Why what not? about you? What why do you not? think? Farting in the bathtub? Farting in the bathtub. I don't see why it'd be a problem. That makes sense. Why don't, why don't you think farting in the bathtub is okay? I don't know, it's weird. It's weird? It is kind of weird. It's a You're just weird. sitting in still water. A little bubble comes up. Alright, we're at Nokomis Beach right now, and I'm here with Robin, my new best friend I just met. <laughs> and I have a question for you, okay? Uh-huh. Is it okay to fart in the bathtub? Get him! Get him! Get him! Trump 2020. Sir? Alright. Well said. If you were a stripper, what would your stripper name be? Um, I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> what about you? <laughs> <laughs> no idea. How about that? <laughs> 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 if you were a stripper, what would your stripper name be? Hmm, Hot Tamale. Hot Tamale! There you what about go. you? What about you? What about you? If you were a stripper, what would your stripper name be? Um, tight pole. What does that even mean? We're leaving the beach. We're dipped. I hope you guys enjoyed us asking those people on the beach those questions. Now we're going to go into a segment of Q&A. We asked you guys to ask us questions over our Instagrams. And so right now we're just going to be answering those. So uh, first up is uh, Addie Baker asks, Drop Andrew's hair routine, especially how he achieves such good volume. You want well, to elaborate? what I do in the morning is I wake up, I put about 10, 10 ounces or so of honey in a bowl add some rocks, mix that around a little bit, then I eat it. It helps grow my hair out just a little. It gives us that extra, I don't know, extra half inch. And then I go to the shower and I put my head down the drain and I just swirl it around in there for a little bit. Pretty much like that, just swirl it around in there. Then I whip my hair out like that. It's and like miracle how, grow. I was talking. And that's how my hair grows. Next question is from It's Takaya. She says, Shrek? I love you, Daddy. Uh, third, third question is from Andrew Simat. Love you. Uh, what happens when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object? Well, Communism. If, the, if the hypotenuse and the, the electrons meet up just right, and socialism, when that comes in too, it yeah. creates motion yeah. so that the immovable object will, will move. Next question. Uh. This one is brought to you by Blaine Powell. Shout out to you. Ever heard of Jackson Drew on YouTube? No. Oh, I've heard of them. You have? I have. Are they alright? They have like quality content. The, I hear oh. that the only person that has better content than them is PewDiePie. By the way, if you're watching this and you're not subscribed to PewDiePie, subscribe to my boy real quick. He finally just passed T-Series again. He's on that constant battle, so subscribe to my boy real quick. Amen. All right, another one from Andrew Simon. He says, habaneros or mi pueblo? The fact, the? the fact that you would what? even question us what is the? disgusting. What? He's going to cry. He's going to cry. Mi pueblo, I'm not even, you know the answer. I'm not even going to elaborate. Who do you think you are asking that question, all right? Mi Pueblo is 10 times better than Habanero will ever be. Thank you. All right, from uh, Greg Coyne, he Ooh, says, where does the sun come from? Johnny Cash. Have you, all right, this next question is by Greg Coyne as well. Shout out to Jackson's dad. Have you seen Father Sergeant Daniel Burns's dance? 
Of course I have. He has this some man, spicy moves. This man, all right. You know Salt Bay? Screw him. It's more Salt Dan. <laughs> Ethan Weaver says, why did you decide to move schools? Um, Cut my knee open. Why not? There. Why not? All right. This next question is by Emily Clendenin, my cousin. She asked, Andrew, who's your favorite cousin? And I'm probably going to have to say Kaylee Clendenin. She's probably, probably my favorite. Alright, thank you guys so Alright, thank you. Alright, thank you guys so much for staying to the end of the video. If you guys like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Comment down below if you want to be seeing anything like this in the future. And with that said, see you guys in the next video.